Hello guys and welcome to our channel. In this video we're showing you how to set up DS4 Windows for the PS4 controller, also known as DualShock 4. So guys, let's firstly of course download the software. So DS4 Windows, sorry wrong language, DS4 Windows. So make sure to grab it from the GitHub and not any of these other websites. You go to this uh, GitHub page, Ryochan7. And you grab the latest version of this application, as you can see, 333. Uh, download it to any part of your drive, unpack it, and let us continue. All right, guys, so after you download the software, you're going to have something like this. This is going to be the files from the archive you, just, you have just downloaded. And as you can see, we need a executable uh, in this folder. Not this one, but this one, ds4windows.exe. You need to launch it, so let us do that. Right, so this is going to be our app application. So guys, I'm going to be using, of course, my DualShock 4, as you can see, original version, not some fake stuff uh, to connect. So guys, of course, firstly, make sure to pair your controller via Windows settings. We already have tutorials on how to do that. So I'm just going to skip that and I'm going to get into the uh, software itself. So guys, firstly, when you uh, launch the application, you will have um, the where is it? Let me see. Okay, you will have the driver set up. So you will need to download various things in here. Let me just move things around so that the camera doesn't cover it. So in here, you will need to firstly install, this is absolutely mandatory, the VGM bus driver. This is the driver for the software. Without this, your controller will not work with this application. So this is the mandatory first thing that you should install. Also, if you're on Windows 11, I absolutely recommend, and I would say it's mandatory as well, to install the Hit Hard Drive, Hit High, High Driver. It says optional, but on Windows 11, there's so many problems with this application in terms of the exclusivity for your controller. Windows 11 is just a mess. I recommend using Windows 10. So just install the Hit Hide if you're on Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10, this is not mandatory. After that, guys, just uh, close, uh, press on finished and restart your computer. After you've restarted your computer, you need to add the support for your controller. You go to the device option. And as you can see in here, we have various supported controllers. We even have the, D, uh, uh, the DualShock 3 controller, which is insane, right? So we don't need any of these. You just need to tick DS4 controller support. So this is basically a button and a tick that adds a support for our uh, DualShock 4 in this software. And that's it. This is the very important step. Do not skip this. After that, guys, when you've paired your controller with the system, you can you have the make sure, of course, to have the um, Bluetooth adapter installed in your computer. Otherwise, you will not be able to pair your controller wirelessly. If you're playing wired, it's even simpler. After that, guys, I'm just going to turn on my controller by pressing on this amazing PS button. All right, so it's launching and then press on start. And now let us see what's going to happen. And as you can see, bang, bingo. Now my controller is connected, as you can see. So the thing I've been talking about is you can see this exclusivity thing. So this basically means that your controller is not being controlled by entirely by this application, but on Windows 10, you easily fix this by just disconnecting and connecting the controller again. Look at that. And we have exclusive access. We have this, um, whatever that thing is called, like a check mark. So as you can see, exclusive access. And this means that our DS4 Windows takes full control of our controller and we can customize it to the absolute maximum. All right. So make sure that this exclusive thing is ticked. Otherwise, you're going to run into issues. So on Windows 11, this is a big issue. That's why you need to install the head drive, head dri what's it called, head hide driver that I've been mentioning uh, previously. And after that, guys, you just go to the profiles, you go on new, create a new profile. And of course, as you can see, if I, for example, tap on edit, I have an Xbox profile. So all of the buttons are just set on the same buttons as they are on the controller. So X for X, triangle for triangle, uh, sticks for sticks, etc. And you can also mingle with the settings of your dead zones. We'll already have a video on our channel um, about the dead zone, very detailed, made by me as well. 
So you can uh, just search for it on our channel and uh, check it out if you're curious. But in general, this is a very simple installation, guys. You, it works both wirelessly and wired. I also have a wired, but, it, but this time, as you can see, my controller is connected and shining. Um, I will also show it to you that it works. Look. As you can see, the sticks work. Buttons also, wo also work. R2, L2, everything's working. As you can see, the gyroscope is also working, so everything is perfect. This is an amazing software that you absolutely should use if you use Sony controllers on Windows. And that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.